two things you got to know about Tim. One is he has more experience in every branch of government than anybody's ever stepped into this job as vice president. And two, two, Hillary is going to really need him, not because she's not the smartest person to seek that office. She is, but because the plate is so full. If you notice with Barack, everything's dropped on his desk except locust. You have to. No, I really mean it these days. You got to have confidence in the woman or man who's your vice president and say, here, take this responsibility and do it, and you don't have to check with me. I get, I get overwhelming credit that I don't deserve for being a vice president with a lot of authority. I only have authority because the president said I have authority. All, all the power of a vice president is reflected. It all comes from the president. And when I talked to Hillary about Tim, I, my view was she couldn't have a better pick. He'll have her back. He'll be there for her all the time. And there's nothing, including major foreign policy issues, he cannot handle. So, folks, let me get to it. You know, uh, no one has to tell Tim who built this state. No one, and I mean this sincerely, no one has to tell Tim who built this country. No one has to educate him to why, why non-union workers have a decent wage, why non-union workers are not discriminated against, why non-union workers have safe working places. It's all because of you, unions, unions. And this guy understands. He knows how to pronounce the word union. <laughs>